Hey, welcome everybody to another episode of Midlife Crisis. I'm your host, Leo. I um, I got a weird one today, guys. I think uh, I think it's time. Uh, I've driven the BMW now for about 1,200 miles. I've enjoyed it. I've driven it out to the other end of Massachusetts and back. Uh, very comfortable. I, I was able to go from Foxborough to Agawam and then back to Foxborough in one day while walking around Six Flags New England. So it's a very comfortable ride. But I like big things. I'm a big guy. It's a little small for me. I mean, when you're sitting in the driver's seat, lots of space, lots of space. That's not the problem. No. It's just the size of the car is small for my taste. I mean, I drive an everyday 2018 Ram Crew Cab 1500, right? With a three inch lift and 35 inch tires. I like it big. So, I did the carbon fiber wing. Uh, when I bought the car, the rims, they had that little road rash. All four rims had them resurfaced and repainted and recleared. So there's no road rash on any one of the rims. Uh, the turbo charge pipe um, cracked, you know, because it's 2015, we're in 2024, it's nine years old. It cracked, so it's got a new one. I mean, that's a $400 deal apart, right? Brand new one. Brand new um, water pump, right? Because uh, it overheated the water pump's electric in these, and they're known to go. I mean, that thing alone is 500 bucks, not including labor. This is just how much the pots are, you know what I mean? Got the carbon fiber wing. And uh, that's it. what did I do? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it needed new license plate brackets. So uh, I got license plate bracket and um, license plate, like, trim that goes over the plate once you put the plate on to make it look pretty. It says, you know, BMW, blah, blah, blah. Folks, this car's gorgeous. But I need something else. So I'm selling it. I'm selling it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the car. Drives great. Zip around. It's just that I went from a Corvette that has 680 horse because it was supercharged to the BMW that has 320 horse. It's quick. It's nimble. It's fun. It's just not me. It is what it is. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you. Maybe this car's for you. So, let's go over the stats. It's a 2015 BMW 640i X-Drive convertible with the M Power package. Okay? Um, so, I'm going to flip the camera around and you're going to check it out. So, here we go. When you open it up, see, I did not put that little sill in. Okay? I will clean it. It's got the WeatherTech floor liners for the front. And the rear okay it's got so many switches for the seat controls folks it is really insane there's just so many seat controls even my kids were like what um, there is ambient indoor lighting no it's not that white light right there uh, it lights up red inside the pockets and in the long uh, sliver just above the handle everything works great okay it is a beautiful car no issues whatsoever yeah that wing does look good look at that wing Hmm. Carbon fiber wing. Looks great. Okay. So, this car is a buy it and drive it. That's it. It's that easy. Okay. Everything works. So, let's go over what else does this have for options. Let's go start it up. Okay. So, press the button to start it, and that's it. Boom. Oh, 
Let's take that down a notch, huh? I do like to listen to my radio. So, let's close the door. Now, check out this info center here. It has the ability to auto turn on the lights, right? So there it's on automatic. There, it will automatically switch high beams on and off. It has a HUD, if you can see that. So here, let me uh, shut off the car and I will start it back up. And you can see the whole startup sequence here. Yep, it's yelling at me for not wearing my seatbelt. But uh, if you put in your navigation, it will also show up there. So that's pretty neat. You got your full info, dual screen. And you can even put in vehicle info, put on sport mode, and it will show you your horsepower rating and your torque rating as you give a guess see and you can still listen to see what your radio is playing or you can change what's on there you can put the maps you can put just all kinds of different data you can make it one screen dual screen i will include the car cell phone holder i know everybody needs one of those it does have for cds i know a lot of people are like what the heck is that it is a 2015 you know, cup holders, everything is super clean on this car, guys. Everything's super clean. I don't use it other than for charging my cell phone, so that, that's a little plug that if you want, you could just put in here. It's so clean, there's nothing in there, see? I don't smoke, so it doesn't matter. But, um, look, you have electronic parking brake auto hold you press that auto h when you're at a red light you can let go of the brake you don't have to step on the brake even though you're in drive okay you have to slow down your deceleration your parking sensors on the bumpers traction control this one opens and closes the roof yeah, your whole info here all the menus everything's here okay now this sport and comfort whenever you start the car it will automatically be on comfort it's the default you can go comfort plus look at the gauges change when you switch it to eco makes it all blue okay you're saving power it takes power away from the motor you're also saving fuel all right so now let's go up See, the gauges change to a more classic looking comfort modes. And then, you get your sport mode. And then the real fun one, sport plus. I mean, sport plus just goes crazy. That's full power, lots and lots of fun. Now, as you're changing those modes, you will see that your info center over here also changes to what they can do. So it just helps charge the battery better because a lot of the systems on this car are electronic in order to get better gas mileage. That's why you have an electronic water pump, you know, your radio is obviously electronic and all the doodads, your heads up display, your power, everything, climate control. So you got your paddle shifters, downshift, upshift, you got your whole radio controls and voice activations you got your cruise control i mean there is all kinds of stuff look how fancy this is you open it and it turns on you should close it shuts off got all your different oh yeah you can uh, sos it and then under here you have the three buttons to uh program your remote garage door opener your unlock is there for your car. On economy mode, your car shuts off at a red light. You can override that by pressing that button. Auto off, it just shuts it off. Now, when you get to a red light, it won't shut off. Okay? Now it will. 
It's just one of those many, many things. This button will actually raise all the windows at the same time, all five. That's the two driver's doors, the two rear quarter side windows, and the rear glass. So let's do a flip. You ready? Right behind me is the rear glass. It goes up. See, that's what happens when you do that button. It brings up all of it. I do this when the top's down and I got to go in somewhere and I just lock the car. Nobody can reach in. Um, as soon as you go to open or close the roof, the mirrors, all the windows open and close. Um, also, the passenger's mirror folds down, like angles down when you put it in reverse just so that you can see the curb and not hit the curb when you are parking anyways if you're interested hit me up in the comments below you do have to come to see me i'm not shipping a car i'm not taking uh credit cards or checks it's cash in person so if you're willing to go to say gillette stadium in foxborough and meet with me i'll sell you the car all right till next time Hit the like, hit the subscribe, leave a comment below. If you're interested, let me know, and I'll talk to you in it later. Be kind.